Snipers, you have to see what's happening with the cryptocurrency market today as Bitcoin's daily candle right now has a low of 34,800. It is not a coincidence that our major support at 34,788 has yet to be tested, but we did come down and test this extremely important support level. We have yet to touch the major area at 34,788. However, we can start to look at the more micro time frames to assume the psychology that the price action is telling us on the the chart when we first came down to test this level and right now as an umpire you have to realize we came down to 34,800 just at this extremely important support. It's not a coincidence that this is exactly where Bitcoin started to come right back up and notice how this sell pressure was not bought back up and there were no bulls in sight coming down to 34,800 and so this tells me as an umpire the psychology of what has occurred is the bears took the price down to 34,800, the extremely important support. They realized there were no buyers and then they allowed Bitcoin to follow the path of least resistance, which is always going to be sideways to a little bit higher. But that doesn't mean we'll be able to cross major resistance levels because notice how we came to 36,500, which was also an extremely important level that we talked about yesterday. And we have yet to cross above that. It's not a coincidence. Once again, for those that have been tuned into the Cypress channel, that our numbers are extremely important. These are numbers that we've had on our chart for months at this point. And so at this point, because we didn't see buyers come in here at the test of thirty four thousand seven hundred and eighty eight, I'm going to have to be honest and say as an umpire that tells me that if we're not able to get above thirty six thousand five hundred, it's the weekend. It's the most manipulated in the cryptocurrency market. That means that we're most likely to come back down, retest this level, because at this point, as I mentioned earlier, the bears just paused what they were already going to do at the major support and they realized there were no bulls in sight. And so they could have taken the price further down, but you can see they stopped, but there were no bulls in sight. That is a major puzzle piece on a micro time frame which always morphs into the larger time frame. So yes, this is a one minute chart, but that morphs into the five minute chart, into the 15 minute chart, into the 240 minute chart, which is the four hour chart and then the daily chart, right? So a lot of puzzle pieces on the table today. And then we're going to take a look at what's happening to altcoins because we look at Ethereum right now to the Bitcoin chart. We are still seeing weakness here below the weekly open and monthly open heading towards our target of 53,500 Satoshis. And because Ethereum is the largest altcoin, it's going to influence the other altcoins. And the Ethereum US dollar price is reacting to this, seeing a new low yesterday at 2139 heading towards that $2,000 big even most likely going to come and test 1980 and 1760. This 200 period moving average now is on the table for Ethereum. And when we look at the total cryptocurrency market cap chart still above the 200 day moving average, which is positive and others dominance is still showing strength, having a cup of coffee at the 100 period moving average and most importantly above the 20 week moving average. So, so far, the dominance levels are looking good for altcoins. Bitcoin dominance, of course, starting to just kind of come back and curve towards this 50 day moving average, showing that it wants to just have a little bit of a cool off. This could be a positive thing to see this as a high and a lower high, because that would assume we could see a potential lower low form a flag. And maybe towards the start of July into mid July, we see a reversal in Bitcoin dominance that all is on the table. We're going to be monitoring these charts for those tuned into the Sniper channel. My name is Naeem Alabadi. Remember to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. First, I want to talk about what's happening to Bitcoin. So it's death cross day. You can see the 50 period moving average crossing below this 200 period moving average. We all know the death cross is here. Now, what is Bitcoin's price doing while this death cross is occurring? Well, we're testing a very important key support level, which would be a door that if it were to open could take us towards the twenty four thousand dollar level, which is an over 30 percent downside if thirty four thousand seven hundred and eighty eight breaks. And there's no coincidence here that today's daily candle low is thirty four thousand eight hundred. That to me says that it's coming time for Bitcoin to make a decision here. And the fact of the matter is we weren't able to get above thirty six thousand five hundred and at this point, we're still below thirty six thousand five hundred. We have this four hour indecision candle. You can see we had this indecision candle with the first retest of thirty four thousand 
34,800. And we didn't see a bullish engulfing. We just saw another indecision candle, a weaker one, because it only stayed within the body of the previous candle. And then we're seeing a little bit of a push to the upside above the previous weekly open. But still being rejected by 36,500, this major structural resistance level, it's coming to a point where we're going to see Bitcoin make a decision. And I'm going to stick to what I've stuck to over the last month, 36,500. If this level breaks, we are now playing a dangerous game where we could start to see wicks into the 30,000 to $24,000 level. We don't know how severe this could be. And this is going to be, in my opinion, the true adjustment of Bitcoin's price against what's happening to the DXY, which we'll look at tomorrow as we start to see futures markets open later in the afternoon tomorrow. So with Bitcoin crossing below 34,800, that would be a very dangerous game. We have to be extremely careful in this range. Now, I think some altcoins are going to do fine. Some altcoins might bleed. Who knows? Now, for the upside scenario, let's say a miracle happens. 36,500. If we can get above that, we have 37,200 the monthly open. That's where I would start to feel a little bit more comfortable with us not coming back down and seeing the downside scenario. But we need to get above 37,200 the monthly open if we want to start assuming further upside potential for Bitcoin. And with that, I want to talk about altcoins because I don't think every altcoin is going to react the same way if we see a downside or even an upside push with Bitcoin. So we have to realize with Ethereum to Bitcoin, it looks like we want to come down, test the $2,000 big even, maybe test this 200 day moving average. So that's fine. Ethereum, the largest altcoin, if we come down, maybe we form this bullish flag as we've been talking about. And then we see a nice entry here at the 100 period moving average, maybe through the end of this month. That's on the table, but with the total cryptocurrency market cap chart, we want to monitor this 200 day moving average. I think if we breach this, we're going to see more altcoins bleed. If we don't breach this, then that would be a positive thing. So it's sitting at one point four trillion dollars in market cap. We want to maintain that. And then others dominance still having a cup of coffee. We want to watch this 20 week moving average into this next week. If we stay above it, it's positive. If we start to cross below is when we'd have to start assuming a different storyline into Q3 and Q4. And right now, the storyline is we're still in altcoin season, but that could change, especially if Bitcoin comes up and tests the 20 week moving average. I think it'll come to around 50 percent at some point. And I think that's highly likely. Maybe we come down, form more of this bullish flag, these higher highs, these lower highs. And then, you know, towards the end of the month, we come up. That's all on the table. And we'll always cover it for you guys tuned into the Snipers channel, as always. And I want to give away one of my favorite books on Bitcoin Mastering Bitcoin by Andreas Antipanalis. If you want to enter into this giveaway, comment below, share this video and remember to smash the like button. I appreciate each and every one of you snipers. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts with you guys. It's amazing to see your comments. Let's see. Rasmito Ja says, Naeem, don't know if you're a papa. If yes, happy Father's Day weekend to you and all of those who mean most to you. Happy Father's Day to one and all. Well, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Thank you so much for the kind words, Rasmito. Send me a message on Instagram. The link is in the description below. You want a book. And with that, thank you all for tuning in today. Until next time, snipers.